Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody uh, back to the podcast. I hope everybody out there is doing well, uh, as usual. Um, So today, what I wanted to talk about was uh, refilling the creative like tank um when you're in a state of constantly feeling like you have to create something or you have to have an output and you're just kind of like running on deadlines over and over and over again uh those can be deadlines that are self-imposed those can be deadlines that you know like somebody else is setting on you or a company setting on you or or whatever uh, but uh, Sometimes, like, we don't have time to really step back from what it is we're creating and to just kind of remind ourselves why we're doing what we're doing, uh, why we love, you know, doing this work at all. Uh, And it can turn something that's a lot of fun into a chore. And that's not why I got into this business. Like, I always wanted, it always seemed like a very fun job. And I have to say, for the most part, it actually is. Like, there are stressful moments for sure. Uh, There are things that don't go the way I want them to go. There's all kinds of uh, roadblocks in the way. But when it comes down to just creating something, like writing a script or sitting down to edit something, like those moments of just absolute creativity and focus and zen and this, you know, energy... uh, comes over me and I I just I like I love the process I love being able to just like take pieces or you know take a blank page and and like create something out of nothing it's like that this this alchemy this uh magic this uh you know the it just I I love like since I was young like I, I just I love the idea of being able to do this kind of work and so because I love doing it so much, uh, I don't want to stop doing it. And I get frustrated when I'm, when I can't do it, when, um, when, you know, like my schedule, uh, in my life where I I have to do other things or I have other commitments, like can really drag upon me actually sitting down and, and, and getting the work done. Uh, but that's only like part of the equation. The other part is just when you've kind of spent all that creative energy and you're not replenishing it. And that's, uh, something I, I, I knew that I had to do, but I didn't realize how much of a deficit my creative tank was in. And I just started to, you know, think about why I wasn't feeling creative, why I didn't, uh, you know, every single time I sat down to like, to try to write something that like, I, I just didn't have any ideas or I I just couldn't I, I couldn't seem to get myself to the point where I was beyond the you know the actual fear of of creating something which you know can build up over time like there 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 can be this fear of like well I haven't written something and maybe you know, you know maybe that creative spark that I had is gone or maybe um you know like I just just all kinds of scenarios come into your head when things aren't going right and when things aren't going as smoothly as I can. Uh, because like, even, even if I'm having a bad day writing, I can still walk away from that and, and really just appreciate the fact that even though it was difficult or maybe I didn't crack a scene the way I wanted to, or I'm having trouble with the character, I can at least walk away with the confidence that I sat down, I worked it out and that with enough thought, with enough uh, working at the problem that I'm trying to solve, uh, even if it means like stepping away to do other creative work, that I'm going to eventually find an answer. But it's really bad when you sit down and you're like, I don't like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even know like why I'm sitting at this computer trying to come up with a story. Like what, what, what's going on here? And that that really worried me, and I and I knew that that wasn't a permanent thing, but it, it just it, it was a it was a feeling that I knew that I had to uh, address and had to figure out why I was feeling this way, and 
I started to just watch movies. I I just was like, you know, I'm going to turn on Netflix. I'm going to turn on Amazon. I'm going to turn on Hulu, Disney Plus. I'm going to I'm just going to find movies new and old that I can watch. And eventually I found like a bunch of movies that either I hadn't seen in a long time or that, you know, I um, that I it just came out and and I was like oh that looks interesting or some people were were recommending it and so I started to watch movies and um I did kind of a, address like my excitement about just movies in general cuz I I did an overview or uh preview not preview um you know but I talked about the sandlot and I was really excited about rewatching that film and I was even feeling this deficit back then and I I I've been kind of feeling this way you know, over the, you know, it, I, I'm going to say that like a lot of it came from just the pandemic and just feeling this helplessness and that I'm still kind of trying to pull myself out of it. Uh, but uh, you know, it's been over a year. So it's like, I can't, that's not an excuse anymore. It's now, it, it was an excuse that ended up turning into a habit. And that's not great because like, I want to do this for a living. I want and I enjoy it. And so like, I, you know, I'm going to probably come to this point again, where I need to uh, be creative, but I just like, <laughs> I've, I've exhausted my, uh, my ability to be creative and, you know, to be able to kind of recognize this early before I actually have a studio you know, knocking on my door saying, you, you need to deliver the script. You know, you, yeah, you, we gave you like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, six weeks or whatever, you know, like to, to deliver the script. Where is it? You know, it's like the, to do understand that, like what, for me, what it feels like to have that deficit, uh, is very important. And I think it's important for all of us to kind of understand, uh, that within ourselves, like where our limits are and when we feel like we're kind of not not working at the highest capacity we could uh because we just we, our creative tank is empty and we need to replenish it you know and so th this can be many different things it doesn't necessarily mean like watching movies or reading books or uh playing video games or whatever like it it can mean just going on a walk it can mean uh, you know, maybe journaling, like sometimes you're stuck because you, you know, you're, you're thinking about something and you just need to get it out of your system. You know, there's many, many ways in which like you can replenish the, the, your creative tank. I mean, you could go outside, like if you're able to, if you're uh, by nature, uh, you know, you can go into, you know, a, a forest area, a park and just kind of sit and, and bring it like, just kind of feel the world around you and feel nature and 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 just kind of get it get a, a refresh of the fact that like like we are creative beings and in fact like the earth itself is like it's a creative element it it creates it destroys the like the whole process of the world is in each one of us and we're capable of destruction and creation and just coming to terms with the fact that like like yeah that's that's just that's our nature that that's what we're able that's what we're able to accomplish um but also it it is to you know if you're you're looking to uh you know to to write a story you know good uh, finding some just finding a novel, um, finding a, a movie to watch that will kind of spark that that inspiration, get your mind going uh, in terms of like narratives and 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 character development and and just in terms of language and and how uh, how things unfold and kind of get yourself back in that mindset uh, because some like the the, the way in which. Uh, I kind of get excited about, well, I'm sure it happens with a lot of us, but like the way I get excited about an idea is that I start to see the trailer or I start to see the poster or I start to, I, I just think of like all of the possibilities with the story because I'm trying to kind of create this, like this mood board the, or the, this, you know, this casting of vision uh, right at the beginning 
uh, about like what this could be and and how it, it could you know be turned into something great that people can can watch or read or you know what have you like just having that excitement to be able to share something and and the you know that's part of it too it's like being able to like to to get into that mindset that you're not just creating something for yourself to to you know to like sell or to like direct or to whatever but it's like it, you're creating something to be able to like share with other people to to see other people uh respond to what it is you're making to get them excited to you know uh, have them excited to to make stuff of their own you know and like to just to kind of create the this like snowball effect of like everybody's creating something that they're excited about and and helping other people create stuff um because it's it's very easy to kind of look you know you look inside and say well I, I'm the only one who feels like this. I'm the only one who's stuck. I'm the only, you know, just to get this very narrow-minded view of uh, of how things really are. And it's like, well, you know, even just reaching out to somebody and saying, I'm stuck. I, I need I need a creative outlet or, like, you know, I need somebody to bounce ideas off of. Like, there, there's so many ways uh, in which, like, we can replenish that tank and you know connecting with other people is is definitely another part of it like to have a conversation with somebody uh especially uh, you know somebody that you know that's going to appreciate the creative process who's gonna maybe you know talk about ideas with you or maybe they have ideas uh, about what they're working on and that that can kind of like you know you you know you kind of like look at the other person and you're like wow you're so excited about this idea wait, I can be excited about ideas too. Like I have been excited about ideas. Oh wait, I have ideas. I, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I want to make sure that you create this thing that you're excited about. And then like, you know, you go home and you're like, oh my goodness, like I got ideas that I'm excited about. And you know, they, and they want to help me create the like accomplish what I want to accomplish and and that kind of like sets this energy uh about like all right you know like I got somebody who who's in my corner who who wants to see me succeed and so I I I want to create this for them as well as for myself and you know and and to get a team together that's going to be excited about making it too and then it's just like you know just the this you know synergy that happens uh, but it, it's uh, it's really hard sometimes when, especially if you're you, you know you're trying to come up with the idea, or you know you're alone, you're a writer, and you're just trying to you're just trying to work it out, or you're trying to get get through some ideas so that you feel comfortable to share because like sharing ideas is a very vulnerable thing, and the other person can kind of look at you like uh, I think you've lost it, or like I, are you sure you're okay? This or flat out like no that idea sucks that idea is stupid <laughs> you know not that they would necessarily say that but you know that that look like everybody knows that look when you we've told somebody an idea and they just kind of like they they just kind of look away and you're like oh i guess it's not as great as i thought it was <laughs> you know that, that that can definitely like you know um you know deflate your you know your excitement about it but uh, other than that, like, just finding, like, movies and books and things to just fill up that tank again so that, you know, like, that that's kind of how I was able um, to write some of my first scripts. Like, I, I just started, I was reading novels and all of a sudden I got to a point where I was... I had read so many like novels that like they weren't just like dense prose, but they were novels that had been turned into movies or, you know, when you read them, you were like, OK, this this feels like a movie or like I can understand why they they decided to adapt this into a movie because it reads like a movie. Uh, but it, it got me to kind of believe in myself that I could actually do it. And, and that was that was huge. Like just having the confidence that I could accomplish something as big as writing a feature film, like that, that was, that was everything. And that, that is part of what I think, you know, like after you've done it a couple times, you kind of get, you know, comfortable, you know, like I, I'm, you know, if you have written a feature, then, you know, 
you know that you can do it. Um, if you haven't written a feature yet, or even if you haven't even written a short film, like being able to like accomplish that, like that is going to be the momentum starter. Like when, when you, when you are able to type fade out the end on your script, if it's a short, if it's a pilot, if it's um, a feature film, that's everything that, that is the momentum that kind of keeps you going. But you know, it's, if when you've been doing it so much and not to say that I like I I've written a lot but I've been able to kind of like get to the point where I'm like I'm I know I can do it and now it's like now I got to find what's exciting about about writing what's exciting about the idea I'm working on what what is the thing that's gonna gonna ignite that fire and and so, like watching other films and and reading you know, reading more novels is like is is how I'm able to tap into that again and to find a story that I'm excited about and that actually like you know gets my imagination going. And I realized that I just I wasn't doing that. I I wasn't I, I wasn't feeling my creative tank with more stories, with more ideas, with more characters. I was, I was instead just like wasting a lot of time with just, you know, with nonsense, <laughs> you know, when I should be focusing on the craft and that, that is also part of it too. Like if you're spending a lot of time on social media, if you're spending a lot of time, like, you know, watching YouTube and stuff like that, which is what I do when I'm, you know, when I'm doing housework, I'll, turn on YouTube or something. I'll, I'll listen to somebody chat about something or put on a podcast. But then eventually my entire day is about other people talking about what they're doing. And then at the, and then I'm like, well, what the heck? Like I, I, I listened to everything that you're doing. What did I do? What, what did I do with my time? What, how was I creative today? It's like, Oh, I, I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't creative today. I should have been creative today. I, I should have been feeling you know, my, my imagination with stories and with characters and, and with awesome things and not just like people, you know, having opinions about stuff. Uh, so that, yeah. Yeah, guys. So that's what I've been thinking about. I, I, I've been watching a lot of movies. I've been feeling very excited about just having this the inspiration back and feeling confident about, about the stories I'm telling again and, and just, just being excited about it because like yeah this is the only job where we get to make like you you pretty much get what you put into it and so the more you create the more you share the more you kind of like are, are able to like bring thing to like wheel things into existence the the more you know successful you're going to be um the more accomplished you'll feel you know and and challenging yourself too it's like it's not just like oh well i just created something it's like like try to create something different try to create something you haven't tried before you know like if you have a great idea just like keep keep going with it or if it if it's not working as a script try writing it as a novel if it's not working as a novel try writing it as a script or a comic book or or like a you know a a, a podcast or something like just try stuff and that that's that's how you know, like the creativity kind of like starts to expand and grow and, and just being open to the fact that like, there are so many different ways to, st to tell stories now that you just have to start. You just have to start. You just have to do, do the work and work it out and allow people to, you know, give opinions on it to help it become better. And then and who knows, you know, years from now we could be talking about like your idea because it was a great novel or it was a great you know video game or it was a great comic book or you know it was a great movie like we might be talking about your idea and how how you know groundbreaking it was but it's the synergy you got you got to put you, you got to put stuff in in order to like have enough in there to create and to, to make awesome things. So, um, all right, guys, thank you for listening. Uh, that's all I got for today. And also, if you want to connect with me, 
I have a email for the podcast. It's tentative.title.with.tim.podcast at gmail.com. Also, I have a Twitter account for the podcast where I post uh, episodes, and that is at title underscore Tim. And you can find also on the Facebook page, I have a uh, page for the podcast, so you can connect with me there. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from all of you, and uh, until then, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>